using a VR escape room to test Air Force technician trainees on tasks like aircraft maintenance is one of the new ways the Republic of Singapore Air Force is leveraging tech to train safely and effectively during the pandemic. Nia Rong Wei has more. This virtual escape room at the Air Force Training Command looks like it's fun and games. This method of training comes on top of the usual paper and oral assessments. Three batches of trainees have been put to the test since the game was introduced in March. Actually, I've been learning coding myself. I told my instructors about this passion. They recommended me to join the team to develop this VR escape room. When we do it in a virtual hangar, um, all these safety hazards are, there won't be any safety compromises. So we can afford to make mistakes without having to worry about the severe safety consequences that will happen after that. It's part of several other new tech that's helping the RSAF minimize training disruption and maintain its operational needs. Yellow, blue or blue, yellow? Like this headset, which allows instructors to keep a close eye on what the trainees are doing. So now you can remove the wire, the excess wire. This air traffic control simulator provides training in functions like airspace management and intercept control. In use since 2014, it prepares air traffic controllers for emergencies not often seen in real life. Senior Minister of State for Defence Zaki Mohammed says the use of tech has helped the centre to quickly reconfigure training during the pandemic. There's less need to, to do a real physical setup. And many of these uh, trainings today can't, are conducted at their own pace, at their own learning um, um, tempo as well, uh, to enable them to, to learn hands-on but without having the need to be physically there. He adds that such training tools can be extended to make training more realistic and fun at the same time.